So within the Bachelor of Science, you've got um, a lot of flexibility to change your major. And so you don't have to, to decide everything now. And even if you nominate a major at the start of your degree, and you then, um, you then sort of change emphasis as you go through your degree, you can easily do that. The other thing to remember with the Bachelor of Science is that the required subjects only make up about one third of the units in the degree. So you've got a lot of space to do other things in your major. So if you're doing a human biology major, it's still up to you as to whether the other units that you do alongside it are um, things such as, um, as chemistry or whether you want to do you know, a range of, of other sort of, you want to do some more physics or you know, whatever it might be, you can make that choice yourself alongside the, the units that are in the human biology major. Um, and there are always academic advisors like Joanne and me um, around to um, help you with your choices. So this major in human biology is an interdisciplinary program. The core of it is human physiology. Um, but you can combine this with studies in a whole lot of other areas. So things like you know, anatomy and psychology and medicinal chemistry and genetics and anthropology and neuroscience and a bit of stats and things like that. And this is a, a, a major that um, students are taking um, as a pathway into a whole range of postgraduate programs. So they, they can include postgraduate programs in, in medicine, but also in many of these sort of allied health areas. So if you're interested in you know, nutrition and dietetics, or you're interested in physiotherapy or occupational therapy or um, sort of health policy, and a lot, a lot of those different areas, this, is, this will provide you pathways into many other sorts of programs. Um, the difference to the Bachelor of Medical Sciences is that there are no compulsory units in um, the major in human biology apart from the human physiology units, which means that you can choose your accompanying units to sort of tailor it in one direction or another depending on what you think your destination should be. Um, and you can do that when talking to um, academic advisors. Okay, so now swapping to the Bachelor of Medical Sciences, this is um, a three-year degree um, uh, if you do it full-time, but you can do it at a, at a slower pace and that will obviously then take longer. It would be useful if any of you are at the stage at which you, you um, can still make choices about what you do at the HSC, it would be useful to do some chemistry and mathematics. However, there are introduct all is not lost if you didn't, um, there are introductory courses available as well as some bridging courses. So what are the special features of this? Now, one of the things that you need to be aware of, if you're looking at medical sciences, the programs at different universities are all quite different to each other. So um, they've got different sort of focuses depending on the focus of that particular institution. So, you know, UTS has got a lot of sort of um, hospital laboratory based sort of stuff. Um, you know, Sydney University have got lots of anatomy because they're the people who put the program up initially. You know, so there are different sort of, they've all got different flavours. So you need to look very carefully that one name can cover a lot of different sort of programs. The features of our BMed science program is that you can follow your interests towards a sort of bio, biological, sort of biomedical, biomolecular or chemical, chemical sort of areas. You can do psychology as part of the program um, as well, although those units are, are optional for you. Now, one of the things is that all programs at Macquarie have, have breadth in them because um, students are um, expected to do what are called people and planet units. And um, these are people units, and, and they're, what they're doing is sort of looking at not just your program, but where you fit into the wider picture in, in the world, where the people units focus more on sort of social, um, inter social issues and in interactions, and the planet units are more to do with the sort of the physical, um, the physical world that, that we live in and the issues that are coming up there. There are also opportunities to do what are called a PACE unit, where PACE stands for Professional and Community Engagement. And these are um, opportunities which students do generally in the sort of second half of their degree, uh, where you can actually go out and work in an internship, in a community development program, um, in um, some sort of research project. Um, and so it's actually taking the knowledge that you've been developing here, but looking at what goes on out there in the, in the, in the real community 
and it's an opportunity to really develop skills and learn a lot more about yourself as a person and uh, where you might want to go with this. And there's a whole range of these different um, PACE units. Okay, so looking at the program for the medical science, there are some compulsory units in, um, in the first year. There are five compulsory units, um, two in different sort of areas of biology, um, one in organic and biological chemistry, um, one in physics for life sciences, and one in statistics. And then you've got some electives that you have to do at least two of, um, which basically cover anatomy, chemistry, maths, and psychology. Now, if you've done maths at school, if you've done two unit maths and got at least a, a band four, then you don't um, need to take another maths unit. I mean, you can, of course, if you'd like. Um, if you've got your band four in HSC chemistry, you don't need to take an additional chemistry unit. Um, if you've done general maths at school, though, you'll need to do, um, one of those electives will need to be a maths unit because you need enough um, maths to get into the physics. So that's the first year program. It's got some compulsory units, although there's still a bit of, um, a, a little bit of flexibility there. In second year, there are just two compulsory units, uh, biochemistry and human physiology. Um, and then you've got electives where you've got a whole uh, range of things that you can select from, um, and, you know, in covering areas like, you know, genetics, um, uh, more chemistry, molecular biology, microbiology, um, developmental psychology, anatomy. There's a really interesting looking unit there in bioethics. You know, a range of other sorts of uh, units that you can select your electives from. In the final year um, of, of the program, well, uh, then you need to choose what's called a capstone unit. So this is something that integrates all of the stuff that you've been doing as you go through your program. And depending on your interest within this, whether they're in the more biomedical area or the biomolecular sciences or chemistry, you choose the capstone that suits where, where your program has been heading. And then there's um, a, a number of electives to choose from. And there's quite a wide um, range there um, uh, covering all sorts of things um, that, that haven't appeared earlier on. You know, so things like neuroscience and parasitology and radiographic physics, um, uh, genomics, proteomics, human genetics, a whole range of other, other sorts of units there that you can choose to, to fit your particular interests. There are still left over a few sort of spare units in the program and you can do whatever, whatever you find interesting at all in the university in those sort of spare units. So, um, glad to see you left that one in, Joanne. Um, uh, so th this is my blatant plug um, because I teach this unit. Um, and um, I think I've got a captive audience, I'm gonna tell you about it. It is the only uh, uh, course of its kind in Australia um, human genetics, as you'll know if you pick up a newspaper, is one of the most rapidly moving fields in biological and medical research. Um, this particular unit, human genetics theory, is a third year unit, um, and it's taken not just by medical science students and science students and some psychology students or law students, but also by doctors who are doing their um, clinical training um, in clinical genetics as part of their professional qualification from all over Australia and New Zealand. So that's, that's one of the things that you'll find here that you won't find um, anywhere else. So um, where um, do the Macquarie Med Science graduates go? There are numbers of different um, directions you can go in. Quite a lot of our graduates go into medical research um, in universities, in um, various sorts of medical and biomedical research institutes um, and in hospitals. Um, some go on and do postgraduate medicine and dentistry, but people also go into other areas such as public health policy, um, mental health workers, um, various types of education. It might be particular health education or um, various other areas like that. Now, I need to, to point out that you could do a Bachelor of Science with a major in human biology or chemistry or biomolecular sciences or biology, and you would still be able to go in those directions as well. Okay, so it's not as if you have to do a degree called medical science to, um, to get into these sorts of areas, okay? It's the content of what you do and it's how well you do in it that determines your possibilities in the future, not the name of the program, 
Okay, and the name, as I say, as I said earlier, medical science is so different at all of the different institutions that, that just the name medical science doesn't tell you anything. Any um, employer or anybody looking to admit you to another course is going to look at the detail of what you've actually done in your program. There are other sorts of jobs for medical science graduates. So in, in the, um, the private sector, um, there are biotechnology companies, pharmaceutical, pathology companies um, who employ our graduates. Some of the assisted um, reproductive technologies like you know, IVF and things like that have taken quite a number of our graduates um, over the years. Um, and sometimes the graduates end up finding really interesting uh, possibilities. One of our graduates a few years ago got a job with a with a sort of pharmaceutical company and they were so impressed with her, they more or less made a position for her. And so her job now is actually interpreting clinical trials, going out to groups of doctors and people and using her communication skills that she, she'd honed here um, and her knowledge of, of the science underpinning it to explain the results of these clinical trials in various areas. So there's, there's quite a range of, of different sort of possibilities. Um, genetic counselling is an area that's um, a, a going to be a growth area. There are jobs in hospitals as well as um, in, in the private sector. Forensic science. So a Bachelor of Medical Science or a Bachelor of Science is actually an excellent preparation for forensic science. You don't need to do a degree called forensic science. I know they're very popular because people watch too much television. But, but what really matters is that you've done the chemistry, the biology, the geology, all of those sorts of things that you and you've got all of those lab and analytical skills that you use in forensic science, the name of the degree isn't what matters. And one of our biology graduates from um, uh, some years ago has been running um, one of the major forensic labs um, in Victoria for, for some years. So um, you don't need to, to have a, a, a degree with a special name on it, even though they look really good in the marketing. Um, but there are also careers in the allied health professions and a lot of students are interested in these. This is not a complete list, these are just some of the directions that you can go in with either medical science or with um, a human biology major or one of those other majors in the Bachelor of Science into things like physiotherapy, pharmacy, nutrition and dietetics, occupational health and safety, um, orthoptics, podiatry, public health. For some of those, you'd be probably better off doing a Bachelor of Science with one of these more flexible majors so that if you're going to do occupational health and safety, you could do some other units that you may not find within the medical science program, for instance. So if you're not sure about this, you can always come and talk to an academic advisor. And the good thing about Macquarie is that transfer between degrees internally at the university is, is a well-established phenomenon. Lots of our students transfer between degrees. You don't need to go back out to UAC again to do it. So it's not like you're locked into something forever uh, with this decision you're, you're making in the next few months. Now, how many of you actually want to go on and do medicine? Yeah, quite a few hands, as they normally are. I'm very briefly going to say, so um, a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Medical Science is a pathway to postgraduate medicine and dentistry. Um, you need a bachelor's degree. You need to have a minimum credit grade point average. Um, but there's no preference for the first degree. You can get into, into postgraduate medicine with a degree in architecture. You need, you need a, a degree with a good grade point average, and you'll get a good grade point average if you enjoy what you're doing. Um, you then sit a test called GAMSAT, and based on your results from, from these, you, some people are then chosen for, for interviews. Um, GAMSAT, you can find out all about it by going to the website. It's, it's got a section on reasoning in the humanities and social sciences. You have to be able to write and think. Okay, well, they've decided this is a good school for doctors, which is very, very good thought of theirs. Um, you have to be able to communicate um, effectively. And then there's, there's a section where they test your reasoning in biological and physical sciences, but this is only really first year university level biology and chemistry and high school level physics. So provided you've got at least those levels, um, that will, that, that will, you'll be able to, to get through the GAMSAT test. Um, and there's lots more detail on um, their website, which is where I suggest you go for more information there.